This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to online worship with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I'm Reverend Meredith Manning Brown, our lead pastor, and on behalf of Reverend Margaret Ann Jessup, our associate pastor, our staff, and all of the wonderful folks who are helping to lead worship today, we welcome you. It is our honor to be able to lead you in worship today, and we are so glad that you are here. This is our Thanksgiving Sunday, and we have have so much to give thanks for. We're going to have a wonderful video of Thanksgiving that's a part of our worship today that people have provided pictures for. And uh, we have a lot of special music and wonderful people who are leading us. So welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I want to invite everyone, particularly if you're new today, if this is your first time to join in online worship, make sure that you fill out our contact form. And remember, that's for everybody. This is a place for you to be able to put your contact information so we can connect with you. It's pinned right in the comment section. On that contact form is also a place for you to put your prayer requests that go directly to our pastors and to our prayer team. So please use that uh, contact form so that we can connect with you, that we can be a ministry with you, that we can connect with you, and that we can join with you in this journey of life and faith. Now, when we get together for online worship, we do covenant together to fully participate and to be a blessing. And what that means in our covenant to participate is that we're going to participate in this online worship. I encourage you to uh, close other devices and move away from other distractions and really focus in on what we're doing here together today. When it's time to sing, go ahead and stand up and sing. When it's time to pray, pray. When it's time to listen, listen, and just fully participate so that you are right here in this worship experience. And then we covenant together to be a blessing. And that means in that everything that we do and say that we are a blessing today. So the way that you are using the comment section, the way that you are participating with whomever you're gathered with right now, and the way that we just send this all out into the community, that it is a full blessing to everyone involved. Now, one of our favorite things to do, of course, as Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, is to share the love and peace of Jesus Christ with each other. So I encourage you to do that now. Say, peace be with you, and respond, and also with you. Do that with folks in the comment section, with whoever you're gathered with, with me right here. Peace be with you. And we're going to be joined and led in that by some wonderful folks who are part of our Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church family. Peace be with you. Good morning, Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I'm Rose Yarko Lasseri, and we are the Spiritual Seeker Sunday School class. We are studying the book, Come On Home by James Moore. Peace be with you, Nancy. And also with you, Rose. My name is Nancy Ross. Peace be with you, Doreen. And also with you, Nancy. Hi, I'm Doreen Kyleen, and peace be with you, Jill. And also with you, Doreen. My name is Jill Gordon, and peace be with all of you.
I'm Gay Seibert, and this is my husband, Rich. Please receive this call to worship. The, the time, time of Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is here. here. We come together from many places. We come together at different times. We, we come, come together, together to, to offer our thankful, thankful praise to God. O oh Lord, receive our praise for your abundant blessings. O oh Lord, open our hearts to your compassionate words of love. O oh Lord, help us to receive your gifts in gratitude. O oh Lord, help us to live lives of helpful service to others. In, in Christ's, Christ's name, name we, we pray. pray. Amen. Amen. Get ready, everybody. It is time for small talk. I want to encourage all the children who are in worship to get in close to your device, to your screen, so that you can see and hear everything that goes on with small talk. This is led by Miss Laurie, our Director of Children and Youth Ministries, and Laud the Lamb. So get ready. It's time for small talk. Good morning, everybody. And it is Thanksgiving week. Today is Sunday. I am Miss Lori, and this is Laud the Lamb and his oh, wonderful assistant, Cohen. And Laud, you're wearing a, a turkey hat, honey. Yeah, a turkey hat. Oh, he's your friend, isn't he? Yeah, I know you like him. Yeah. You're excited for a turkey to come to dinner? Really? Um, when you say come to dinner, you mean, here, tell me exactly what you mean. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, Lot is a little confused. He thinks we're inviting his friend Turkey to, to dinner, but the problem with that is Turkey's coming to dinner, but... He's coming in a little different manner, Laud. Yeah. It kind of like to eat turkey for dinner. Not this one, not, not him, not him. But he's also just a little stuffed hat. And I think, is what you're trying to tell me that you're thankful for your friend, turkey? Yeah, your stuffed hat friend, turkey. Okay, well, Lot is thankful for his stuffed hat friend, Turkey. And so this Sunday, it's a really great idea for all of us to think about the different things we're thankful for. So we're gonna hear from Cohen today. We don't normally get to hear from Cohen, but Cohen, what are you thankful for? Um, food. Food. Anything else? Water and football. Food, water, and football. Yes. What more could we want? But this season, it's great to think of the things that we're thankful for. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for all of the many wonderful healthcare workers that we have out there. And all of the things that God has provided for us. So today, take some time. Think about what you're thankful for. Don't think about all of the things that might be wrong. Think about your blessings. 
Have a great turkey day. And we're still having turkey. Laud might be having like a tofu turkey, a tofurkey, perhaps. So don't sit there. That won't end well. Mm -mm. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Be thankful. Bye. My name is John Watt, and it's my privilege to assist in the reading of the scripture this morning. Our first reading from the Bible is from Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 11 through 18. And we're reading from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. Moses instructs the people to remember that it is God who has delivered them to safety, and it is God who has richly blessed them. So let us open our hearts to hear what God is saying to us through this reading. Take care that you do not forget the Lord your God by failing to keep his commandments, his ordinances, and his statutes, which I am commanding you today. When you have eaten your fill and built fine houses and live in them, and when your herds and flocks have multiplied and your silver and gold is multiplied and all you, yet you have is multiplied, then do not exalt yourself forgetting the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness and arid wasteland with poisonous snakes and scorpions. He made water flow from you from Flint Rock and fed you in the wilderness with manna that your ancestors did not know to humble you and to test you and in the end to do you good. Do not say to yourself, my power and the might of my own hand have gotten me this wealth. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth so that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your ancestors as he is doing today. Good morning. I'm Sue Zellers. I've been a member of Douglas Avenue for approximately three and a half years. I serve on the mission committee and I participate in the Zooming Zephyrs Sunday School class and I work part-time at Midwest Mission Distribution Center. Our second reading of the Bible is Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, 10 lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out saying, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, go and show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, were not 10 made clean, but the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. May God bless our hearing and understanding of the Bible readings we have received today. Amen. Good morning. I'm Curtis Dion, the chair of the Finance Committee at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I would like to thank everyone for joining my wife and I in prayerful consideration of our financial commitments to Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church for 2021. Our church, which is very mission focused, has found ways to safely continue to support current missions of the church and support new missions throughout this very abnormal 2020. When Mark Schmidt interviewed me a few weeks ago for the Monday night DAUMC livecast, I stated that the financial generosity of the congregation of DAUMC continues to amaze me. That statement still holds true today and continues to show and emphasize to me that church is not just a building, but a group of people. At the beginning of our 10 Sovereignty, Sabbath, and Service series, Pastor Meredith challenged us to increase our giving by 10% or to reach a tithe. Traditionally, this would be a time for me to give you a report on the commitments for 2021, but with the nature of the pandemic and the necessity to be physically distanced, we have not yet received and processed all of the commitment cards yet. However, I am happy and excited to report so far, the majority of the cards are a 10% increase above the respective 2020 commitment. Thank you again to all of the Douglas Avenue 
congregation for your faithful support in 2020 and your financial commitments in 2021. Good morning. I'm Janet Schmidt, the organist here at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Please join me in singing For the Beauty of the Earth. we get into our scripture stories and message for today, I want to extend a great big thank you to all the people of Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. This has been a challenging year of ministry, and you have stepped up and shown up and stood up with courage and compassion for one another, for our ministry leaders, and for our community. You have responded with understanding and support when we've had to make hard decisions to change our ministries in order to lower our community risk from COVID-19 spread. You've been willing to try new things, show love to one another and your neighbors, and continue your financial support of Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church's world-changing ministries. You all have been amazing. I am so grateful and proud to be a pastor in your midst. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In our readings from the Bible today, we see the transformative power of expressing gratitude. In our reading from Deuteronomy that John shared with us, we see Moses reminding the people to express gratitude to the one from whom all blessings flow, God. When Moses reminds the people of their gratitude for all that God has done for them, their lives are reoriented away from selfish pride and refocused on their communal identity as God's people. In our reading from the Gospel of Luke that Sue shared with us, Jesus heals ten people suffering from leprosy. When Jesus points out the one healed leper who comes back to give thanks, he opens his followers' hearts and minds to the power of gratitude as a witness to God's love for others. Being thankful and expressing gratitude makes us different. It makes those around us different, and it changes the world. A common practice for those struggling with depression or anxiety is to keep a gratitude journal. Perhaps you've done this before. In this journal, they are encouraged to write down a minimum number of things they are thankful for each day. Could be three or five things to get started. Breathing, coffee, my dog, whatever. The important part in this practice is to get started writing down the gratitude, whatever it is. 
And very often people find this practice begins to expand all of the things that they are thankful for every day. And then that gratitude journal listing begins to expand. The healing power here is in the habitual practice of seeing life as full of blessings as well as burdens. I've used this practice myself and I fully testify to the transformative power this daily practice of gratitude has. How it changes the way you approach your day, other people, and your life. I once served a church where our community prayer times were just long lists of everything that was wrong in everyone's lives. When I asked for celebrations, joys, or thanksgivings, they couldn't come up with any. They had gotten out of the habit of gratitude. So in order to help, I began bringing a sheet cake to worship every Sunday. Cake. Yeah. We'd bring it up during the offering time, and then I'd ask them, so, we have the party cake here, but what celebration is this cake for? It took a couple of months and a lot of cake, but after rebuilding this habit of gratitude, they would lift up birthdays and anniversaries, friendships, blessings, hopes and happinesses, a way where there was no way before. Deep joys. Some of you will recognize that we use this technique in our leadership, small groups, and class meetings at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Starting our gatherings refocused on gratitude and celebration resets our mental, spiritual, and relational networks. The habit of gratitude changes us, makes us better people, and helps us love, follow, and serve Jesus all the more closely. This week, we've asked folks in our church family and community to share with us what they are thankful for. I'm so thankful for everyone who has participated and our amazing staff team that put together this video for all of us. While the video plays, I'd love for you to add your gratitudes and celebrations to our online comments. Just complete the sentence, I am thankful for, and watch with joy the gratitude of our community.
This week, many of us will be celebrating Thanksgiving. I pray that you are taking seriously the need to reduce the risk of spreading COVID-19 by changing your regular holiday traditions to maximize health and safety. I know that in my household, we're doing things differently, staying home, cooking smaller meals, and connecting with family with online video instead of in person. One thing that we're determined to continue, however, is the habit of gratitude and thanksgiving. Folks, it has been a weird year for sure. There is sadness and grief, anxiety and fatigue, and yet, and yet we still have so much to be thankful for, so much gratitude to feel and express and share. For some of us, it's easy to list out our blessings. For others, we have to dig deep to find much to celebrate. But I believe in my heart that we can find something for which we are grateful. Take time this Thanksgiving week to lift up, list out, and express out loud your celebrations. This habit of gratitude will change you, change those around you, and change your world. Thank you for listening. Thank you for continuing to engage in online worship. Thank you for wanting to connect with God and grow in your faith. And thank you for the blessings of your trust and support of our church leaders and our ministries of Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. From the bottom of my heart, I am thankful for you. Amen. Hi, we're the Philbrick family. Please join us in singing Give Thanks. Good morning. My name is Reverend Margaret Ann Jessup, and I'm the Associate Pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. It is now the time that we go to God in prayer. So I invite you all to take a deep breath, um, kind of clear your mind, bow your heads as we join our hearts and our prayers together. Please bow your head. We come to you, O oh God, on this Thanksgiving week. We come with hearts of gratitude. It's so hard to express the gratitude that we feel for all that you have done with us, for us. You have loved us long before we were aware of you. You have been gracious to us and filling us with so many things. You forgive us for the sins against us. You gave us Jesus Christ, who teaches us more about how to love and how to live life. And mostly, O oh God, you promise to be with us always, and we are grateful. We have been provided enough food to eat and clothes to wear and friends and family who love us, homes to which we live and cars to drive. So many things, O oh God, that we often take for granted. 
but also you have empowered us and called us to assure that those that don't have those things that we have and sometimes take for granted, that we will work for those, that we will continue to work for justice, and we will help those that have little. We're grateful for that call on our hearts as well. We're grateful that even in the midst of this terrible pandemic and great loss in so many ways, you are still with us. You love us and you never leave us. We know that this year has been so difficult, but you remain our Lord and our Savior. And for that, O oh God, we are so grateful. We thank you for the intelligence of the biochemists and the laboratory staff that are working so hard for this vaccine that gives us such hope we ask, O oh God, that you continue to be with them and empower them with the knowledge and the way to distribute the vaccine. We have such great hope, and for that, we are grateful. We are thankful for the healthcare workers, essential workers, the educators, and all those that do the work to make this life that we know possible. Please guard them and protect them and be with them. For our church and our ministries and the technologies that make this worship possible, we give you thanks. We know that we are not able to worship in person, but thank you, God, for this great technology that we can worship and stay together as a church family in this way. We are thankful for our freedom, O oh God, to worship you, even from home and from all of the places that we are. We ask that you help heal the division and the unrest in our country, in our government, that you heal our hearts of racism and make us truly the people that love and accept all peop people equally in this world. As we eat our Thanksgiving meal on Thursday, help us to give you thanks for every blessing and help us cope with our losses. If our table has fewer people because of safety, we ask that you comfort all of us when we're missing those that we have usually been, been with on this um, Thanksgiving day. Just be with us and hold us and keep us all safe. Our hearts overflow with all the good things that you have given us, God, all the ways you have shown your love and shown that we are deeply loved, even during this time. We ask you to help us to be truly thankful, to always take the time to say what it has meant to us, that you have shown your goodness to us over and over. You have made us this beloved children of God, treating us like no earthly parent can. And so we thank you, and especially now, we are so eternally grateful. Be with us now in a moment of silence as we bring to you our own personal prayers. And now, church, we will join together and say the prayer that Jesus Christ taught us to pray on this Thanksgiving week. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The thankfulness of our hearts so very often overflows in generosity. And I am so thankful for all of the ways that you have been generous in your financial giving and in your service with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. All of those financial gifts make it possible for us to be in this powerful life transforming ministry with one another and to our community and to our world. So I encourage you to please keep that financial giving coming. You can make those gifts with our online, through our online giving portal. The link to that is right in the comment section. You can set up automatic payments with your financial institution, with our financial institution. If you need help with that, just give us a call in the church office. And of course, you can send in your checks right to Douglas Avenue. United Methodist Church. Thank you so much for your generosity in that. And I want to encourage you, if you have not done so already, to offer your 2021 estimate of financial giving to Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I am thankful for the so many people that have already done that. You can do that today with the online giving card. There is a, a link to that that is right in our comment section. You can mail in the card that you received in the mail or give us a call in the church office and we'll assist you. 
that is such a wonderful outflowing of thanksgiving and hopefulness and generosity for our ministries as we continue into 2021. Now on this Thanksgiving Sunday, it has been a tradition at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church to support the St. John's bread line. Usually we do this by being able to purchase wonderful fresh loaves of bread. We're not able to do that this year, but the needs of the St. John's bread line continue as they provide hot, nutritious meals to people who need that here in Springfield that feeds both body, mind, and soul. And so I encourage you today to make a special offering. You can do that through our online giving portal at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church on the webpage, and the link is right in the comment section. And there's a drop down there for you that will say St. John's Breadline, and you just click that and you can give your special offering. Or you can make that special offering by mailing a check into the church. Just put St. John's Breadline right in the memo section. Let's continue in that wonderful tradition of Thanksgiving today in supporting the Breadline. Now, we've also been enjoying these mission moments every week in online worship. And today, we have a mission moment about our very special Wouldn't It Be Lovely ministry and their upcoming Black Friday online sale that is this week. So let's give special attention to this mission moment. Good morning. Welcome to Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church Mission Moment. Today's mission moment is going to focus on Wouldn't It Be Lovely? And we picked Wouldn't It Be Lovely for this week because of something important that's going to go on this Friday. So this Friday, which is called Black Friday in the community, we will be showing our new products that the women have worked hard on creating and making, and they will begin selling them at noon this Friday. So I invite you to um, tune in on Facebook at noon um, and watch the video premiere, and then you would be able to purchase some of the products that the women have been working hard on. Much of what Wouldn't It Be Lovely does is circles around and supports and connects women that are struggling um, to make their lives better. I spend a lot of my time on that. But to be quite honest, Wouldn't It Be Lovely can't make it without the business component. It is actually a social enterprise. So as the work that the women do, um, they have to sell that to the, pro the, to the public. So it's very important that these products, we've had to change a lot of how we've done things this year because of the pandemic. So they've made new and creative things um, and you will see them on this Friday. So I hope that you will tune in. Just a few examples, they have this pillow that they have designed and this has been hand painted by the women, um, sewn, cut out. Um, several people have their hands on each product that we do. This is something that's new um, on your front door. We have Christmas trees, snowmen, but there's also products such as gifts, teacher's gifts, some smaller, less expensive things. We also are going to unveil our new t-shirt. Um, this one says, be merry. They'll be for sale, but we also have one that says, be kind. And isn't that something that um, we could all wear and say in this time? So again, I just encourage you. I thank you for the support that you've given. Wouldn't it be lovely these last four and a half years? Um, but I encourage you to keep that up. If you don't need anything and your shopping is done or you're going to not do much shopping this year, share it with people that you know because every gift that is purchased helps the women um, have hours to work as well as the person that you give it to will just love it. So each gift, I always say, gives twice. So I hope that you tune in. Um, but mostly, I just invite you to continue to keep Wouldn't It Be Lovely in your prayers and the women. This is a really, really difficult time for many of them. So I thank you for your support, um, and I hope to see you on Black Friday. Thank you. Please join us in singing, Praise God from Whom All Blessings Flow. <laughs> Creatures here below. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, the source of all our gifts. Praise Jesus Christ, whose power uplifts. Praise the Spirit, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am so thankful today that you have joined in this online worship with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. 
I pray that this whole experience has been an outpouring of thanksgiving for you, that it's been uplifting, meaningful, that it is important and helpful in you, as you grow in your love and following of Jesus Christ. Remember to use that con the contact card that is pinned in the comment section. That's that place for you to put your contact information so we can connect with you. And remember, there's a place there for you to put your prayer requests that go right to our pastors and to our prayer team. And now, in thanksgiving, as you go into your day and into this week, go knowing that the God of generosity and thankfulness goes with you, that Jesus Christ goes with you, that the Holy Spirit leads and guides you in that life of thanksgiving each and every day. Go in peace to love and serve your God. Amen.